Hey guys, Nick here. Continuing from our uh, earlier NIME series videos, so far we've read in data, we've um, done what in Excel you would call the VLOOKUP in NIME, it's uh, a join. We've added some math formulas, we've did, done some sum ifs, uh, multiple sum ifs actually, and then we've calculated um, percentages, percentages um, of a total. So now that we have these percentages, and to be more specific, we've calculated the departmental labor cost by year as a percent of total year, uh, as a percent of the total labor cost per year. Um, and while it's good to look at things in terms of percentages, you know, when you've got a tabular output like this, it's not very easy, or it's not as easy as it could be to find trends within. So... What do you do to make finding those trends easier? Obviously, you want to visualize things, right? And if you're like me, you love to work in Tableau for your visuals. So today's episode, we're going to go through exactly that. How you connect, um, or at least one method, the method I use, of connecting your NIME work to a Tableau hyperfile output. So then you can jump straight from, manipulate, from manipulating your data to visualizing it in Tableau. So to get started, when you want to integrate or when you want to sync, or I guess integrate is the right word, when you want to integrate Tableau into your NIME work, you've got to go up here, right, to file, and you've got to specifically look for the NIME extensions that support Tableau. So if you click File, NIME Extensions, you'll get the screen right here, and in here you'll find a multitude of extensions, right, from like big data shit to sorry, pardon my French, big data stuff, to um, image processing stuff, to what else we got here? Deep learning, they got the Keras integration, all that good stuff, right? So under the NIME extensions, we're just going to go straight to the search bar and you type in Tableau and hit, should you hit enter? I guess it's, my computer's a little slow right now. Once you type Tableau in, you'll get the the available. Oh, why is it? Oh, so I have I've already installed it. So see this box down here is. Let me uncheck that so it'll show the stuff that I haven't in, that I have installed. So then you go to Nime Nime Labs extensions. Um, I think I installed all of them. Yeah, because they weren't showing at all. But really, the one that I'm using is the, the hyper format. But go ahead and install these. Once you, uh, you basically click, hit next, and it'll install them for you. It takes maybe like a minute or two, and then you have to restart Nime. But after the install is done, you're not exactly done there. Um, there's another step in between that for me was a little confusing at first and a little intimidating since I'm not very good with the tech and all the computer stuff but essentially you need to find what they call a path your computer's path and you need to add in right after you've restarted NIME and you've installed the extensions you need to go back in and you have to look for the specific file path so you're gonna go to after you've installed NIME and you restarted the program go to file preferences and we're gonna go under this NIME section and then in there you're gonna click Tableau and you see this file path that's right here you're gonna copy this entire thing right because we're gonna to have to paste it into what they call the path or the path variable just like it says here um, and there's instructions right text instructions that you can read through to get there if you click on this hyperlink over here um, and that'll take you to this specific page right and pardon my YouTube tabs you see open there um, it'll take you here and then you've got where is it? How do you update the path? I guess I googled it. How to how to update the path in your in your computer. But for, anyways, for Windows 10, the instructions are here. Let me walk you through it. Basically, you go down here to this. You right click. You go to System. Under System, you scroll all the way down to System Info. Under System Info. You click advanced system settings, 
Under Advanced System Settings, you click this Environment Variables under the Advanced tab. So click Environment Variables, and then here, in this second window down here, you'll see this path. If you click on the path, highlight it blue, and then you hit Edit, you'll get this pop-up. And then what you want to do, I've already installed that that link or that path we've copied from from our nine window and I've already added it into my path right but anyways what you want to do is you want to hit new once you hit new you basically well let me show you once you hit new you type in here you paste in here that path and then you hit OK and you're done so once you do that you're gonna have to restart the nine program again but after you restart, you'll be ready to go to write to hyperfiles, which you can then use to open in Tableau. All right, so you've got that out of the way. Let's write this stuff to a hyperfile so we can then visualize in Tableau. So what you want to do now is, now that you have everything installed, you go to your node repository, and you can type in hyper and you'll see this hyper node. Oh, and my mistake, there's actually one more step. If you're gonna be writing to hyper files, you're gonna to have to go into file preferences, and you wanna make sure that this dot, this tableau hyper is selected, right? Otherwise you won't be able to, it'll give you an error in the console down here. Um, so make sure a tableau hyper selected, um, hit apply and, apply and close and you'll be good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the output from our math formula node where we calculated the percentages of departmental labor costs as a, or total departmental labor costs as a percent of total labor costs for the year. We're going to take that output, connect it to this um, Tableau hyper node, going to double click, and now we're going to set our path of where we want to save this output. So I'm going to say nine, I'm just going to save it in my nine folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to name it, let's say, labor data. And I always say tab for Tableau. So it's easier for me to see. And then I'll hit save, hit OK. Um, I, this file it hasn't been written yet, so um, you don't really need to do select any of these. Um, but if you want to, you can. I always do overwrite if the file exists, usually because I'm only updating with date with new data. Anyways, hit apply, hit OK, and now the node's configured, and all you've got to do is hit execute, right? And once you hit execute, then you should be able to go under nine and see that hyper file ready to go. There you go. Labor data tab dot hyper. Double click that and Tableau open up a workbook and you can get to work to visualizing uh, your data. So that's basically it folks. If you have any questions, like always, leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and like always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video with your friends. Get them on 9. Alright guys, I'll catch you on the next video.